but we need to leave like a legacy. They could carry on with when we're gone. It just seemed like a really unique opportunity that I felt like I couldn't turn down. Just every day bring something new. And because this is a completely different culture, your expectations just go out the window. One or two Uganda have asked me as part of Teacher Man to Fish to facilitate uh, 12 volunteers um, in order to set up a business with the Great Lakes Regional College. The aim of setting up school businesses is to give students a practical education and entrepreneurship but also uh, to generate some extra income for the school. So there are many different methods of tackling poverty in Uganda but looking at building the capacity of individuals as entrepreneurs is key to improving the family income. A higher family income means that they're able to send their children to school for longer which in turn, if the education is effective, uh, will provide their children with better entrepreneurial skills as well. Well, we started off with a business brainstorm. There was quite a few, there was about 30, so I won't list them all. And then we took on eight altogether to go to uh, SWOT analysis, which is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. So we had goats for that, figury, um, chicken meat, chicken eggs, mangoes, internet cafe, sunflowers, coffee. Most people are quite favourable towards a particular project and we're sort of just trying to cancel out the ones we, we don't think will work but obviously not miss anything out. From there we sat with five or six staff members and we did a resource assessment at the college so looking at what resources the school has available that can be used to start a business but also what areas of weakness does the college have that might result in a disadvantage for any particular business area. Market research was cool, we got to see a lot of different places, we got to talk to a lot of local businesses. We were kind of getting to see people's daily lives, people's daily work ethic, what that's like. And I was very, very surprising to see certain things, how the sort of product chain is here rather than somewhere like the UK. Because it's all subsistence farming, how much they work with their families. The market research really helped us eliminate certain ideas straight away, probably the most important thing. Uh, after performing market research, we got down to um, four key business ideas. Mango tree growing, egg production, poultry for meat and an internet business centre. From there, we continued on to competitor analysis, which is basically looking at business competitors to see if the business at Great Lakes Regional College could perhaps access some untapped um, area of the market which wasn't currently being served. So from that point we performed uh, budget research because even if you have a market for your business um, and even if it seems like a good business idea, that does not guarantee the fact that your business is going to be profitable. It doesn't guarantee the fact that your expenses are going to be less than your income, which is a key part of making money for a school business. If you're trying to create a business in an area that is very poor, that has no demand. You know, it's very easy to look in a book, but when you come out here, it does hit home, you know. It is a very hard way to live. The level of poverty in Kanungu is high. People do not have uh, uh, food to eat. People do not have uh, money to pay fees for themselves. Trying to set up a business, you understand why it's so difficult to get out of this um, deadlock of poverty. At the same time, it's, it drives you on to want to actually want this to succeed because Definitely. you've met all the people that are going to be involved in it and we want it to help the school and want to maybe come back and see the school as a bigger, better place. Exactly, to prosper. Um, so today we're pitching the business ideas to the teachers, um, aiming to get a few investors possibly. I think it's really important to have staff members investing personally in the businesses, getting them to provide some sort of committee to look after the uh, vision of the business it means that they have the opportunity to gain financially from their commitment to the business as well. The presentation we have just got was very exciting. These projects, if they are implemented, it will be a great relief to the college uh, in ensuring sustainable flow of income and so it would impact greatly the community around to improve their livelihood. I think it went quite well. 
we got all our points across quite clearly. So yeah, really like a pitch. business yeah. pitch, but more of a presentation of ideas. Well, I really want to do Duncan Ballantyne there, really. Given the market that is available and the, the rate of production, I feel that the projects will be successful. It's all coming together, I think. Um, it's all really exciting stuff and business skills we've learned have really led us to, like, towards the, the one or one idea. Our final decision really had to come through budgeting. Is it going to be profitable? I'm really happy with the choice of uh, running an egg production business at Great Lakes Regional College because uh, eggs in Kanunga are currently brought in from outside the region um, in order to be sold in the supermarkets there. So there's clearly a, a very big high demand for eggs. So after the group leave, it will be down to the school in order to implement the management of the business. We decided to run a series of workshops for staff members and students in order to build the capacity in certain areas such as record keeping, budgeting and marketing. The group have worked uh, very hard looking at the management structure and I think that work is going to be key to the future success of the business. Like now the enterprise group has really helped me and they have really added more goals in me about business. For now I've got a business, a craft shop are really giving me much power to put more emphasis in my shop and after the diploma I will have got enough knowledge and I will be much better to make my own business. In my future, my wish was to be a guide in either of a national park or uh, any uh, tourism company, traveling into the forest and showing them different types of, of flowers and trees. So that would be my best and that's what I wish in the future. Today is the first day of digging, so this is nine students from the school, at the same time trying to measure out everything like the land and flatten it. It's alright, we've uh, got a lot of uh, digging to do though. It's, it's good, um, I've got a few war wounds but um, really enjoying getting to grips with a hoe, as you can see I'm holding. These things are good and I've experted my technique now, I've really, you know, getting in. Yeah, I think, I think the, the local students might actually have to come and do everything again after we've been to that. That's one thing. We are very happy to have uh, for your services to bring us this business. Every people who surround the college may benefit from the business. And we, we think it will expand. Mm. They are not good at the digging, but they can catch up if they continue like this. It's quite exciting really, you know, you've been out here for three weeks, uh, you want to see something happening and uh, all of a sudden it's starting to come together. So uh, all very excited and very happy that uh, we're getting started really. So over the last couple of weeks I've seen the, the members of the Enterprise Uganda group really develop. I've seen their personalities come out and I've seen them really get to grips with um, difficult business skills. They're leaving Uganda having left behind something incredibly valuable to the community at Great Lakes Regional College that will go on to benefit the college into the many years to come in the future. Yes. <laughs> I would never have thought really about setting up a business after, after you know, university, it's not really something most people consider. But I think that going through the process that we've gone through, which has made me realise that you know, if I ever did want to set up a business, then I think I'd know the kind of things that you'd have to do and put in place um, to make it succeed. I think it's sort of hit on every aspect of your personality really. I mean, a great group, group of guys getting along really well. But equally, adding to your skill sets, my character in general, really yeah. changed me. Ch it's changed me, I'd say. Oh, claim. Mm. Uh, claim, yeah. If this can be repeated, and if successful business models that can be given to any school, I, mean, I think that make a big difference to the local, local economy. Uh, if the income uh, increases, even uh, our offer to the community will increase, and we'll be able to generate projects in the community and try to change the livelihood of people in Canon. Looking back, you know, a couple of four weeks ago, seems like ages ago from now, I'd have 
We never thought that we'd be here in this time and um, I am very proud of how we've done. Uh, no, you've got to, you can't do try. Ah! <laughs> is he gonna, is he gonna attack us in a minute? <laughs>